Hi everybody. Um, got to the end of my last video and obviously I keep talking about the iBoost which is what I've had installed but not so sure I've been clear about what it can do so if you're interested this is what the iBoost can do. So there are a number of different immersion heater chargers um, and what you do need is an immersion heater obviously so if you've got a combi boiler then unfortunately this isn't any use. If you've got the immersion heater then the chances are you'll have the, the element, the immersion heater part, um, which will work. So what you can do is rather than when you switch it on, you get um, three kilowatts of power. What you can use is one of these systems um, to then regulate the amount of um, power going through it. And obviously you can then use that with your solar power to then um, regulate, you know, to gradually increase it over time so rather than hitting three kilowatts taken from the grid you can take a couple of hundred watts as it's growing all the way up to the full power so um, what I will show you um, on the screen is this is what actually happens to my um, to the immersion heater um, and you can see that when the solar kicks in um, you can then um, set it so that you can um, use some of the solar but not all of it um, and it will only start working as soon as you have an allowance of about 100 watts um, so that you can set the export range really between 1 and 500 watts so that you don't overload everything. Um, I've set it to the default of 100 and as you can see it's quite nicely just tracking the solar. As soon as something is switched on it takes the load in precedence of all of this and then reduces the amount that, that will then go to the immersion heater. Um, it is pretty clever in what it does and especially when a cloud kicks in obviously um, it then um, adjusts it accordingly. In this example uh, in this example you can see that it was a bit more of a cloudy day so I didn't get the full output of solar but it nicely tracks it along the way. Um, there are a few um, peaks in it where maybe we've been doing some other things, um, but in general it will be heating the water. This is what it looks like. Um, so this is what sits in your airing cupboard. Um, this attaches to the outside to, 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 to know what power is going backwards and forwards. I don't have the additional monitor. Um, Again, here you can see what it looks like. Um, nice little picture of a setup here. So obviously the iBoost sender or the it sits out here. Um, this sits in the airing cupboard. The only thing with this one is um, there is a little fan in it. So you do notice when it's running because there's a, a slight noise. Um, I do think that the Eddy doesn't have that. So the, the equivalent to this is the Eddy, um, which does a similar kind of thing. I don't think it has a fan in it. Um, obviously, that's to try and cool down as much as it can, as it, as it even though it's in an airing cupboard. Um, this one, I think, on the Eddy as well, seems that they have two. Um, you can connect two immersion heaters. Um, for someone that's got a huge tank that has two immersion heaters, um, I only use the one. And the other thing is you can set it. So rather than just tracking the solar all the time, what you can do, this will tell you how much you've saved. I can tell you how much I've saved in a second. And what you can also do is hit some boost buttons. I haven't played with this yet because it's been summer. I've just left it alone. But in the winter, obviously, what I aim to do is set some of these timings up, I think, so that I can then set it on a timer. It's got a, a five-day timer and all the rest of it. So And seasonal, so you've got winter and summer. But... As I say, I've not played with that yet, but I'll wait to the winter. Um, yeah, that's what you get in the box. So I installed mine um, back on the 4th of May. So what's that, a couple of months now. Um, and I've used no gas, well, neg negligible sort of five units or whatever the unit is, gas is, cubed or... Um, and so um, in total for those months I've used 203 or saved 203 kilowatts of power using the iBoost which I think equates to about 56 pounds so you can see that I'm not using any gas and this is saving me the time so 
Um, so really, I think that's it. Just a quick overview of what the iBoost is, as I keep mentioning it on my videos. Just thought I'd show you. So thanks very much.